AI image generators are actually on the rise and today we are going to take a look at the one which is called Ideogram. Now Ideogram is free AI image generator and you guys can go to this website and just sign up for it and here are the few examples which I think are quite impressive for free AI image generator. Now, once on this page, you guys can create an account for it. I highly suggest that you just use Google account. And here, once on the first page, you will see basically some of the already generated images. For example, here you can see, for example, this one. This one I think looks okay. And here on the right, you will see this account which created this image. And you guys can see that this is the cover image. You guys can click on right one. So here are the few examples of how images look like. Here at the bottom you will see the whole prompt which was used for this exact image and down below we also have magic prompt so yeah you can also see the resolution and aspect ratio 9 by 16 720 by 1280 the model which was used in this case this one rendering default seed and also date created so here down below or here on top you can also click on this three dots here and you guys can just click on download now you will have to have premium account to download png which is in full or 100% quality, you guys can also use the JPEG, which is just fine and just 70% quality. Now, once here, you guys can also describe it, edit it, use it, or even remix it. With all that said, let's go back to this first page. And let me show you a few more of the examples. We guys can just go to realistic, for example. And here we have, for example, this image. I think this one also looks kind of natural, but still, you can see that it is eventually generated with the generative AI model. We have this bokeh effect, so this blur at the background. We have the main subject, which looks almost natural. I would say that this model still needs some improvement. And here we have other examples as well. For example, this one. Here we have this one. This one looks the fakest among them all. And here we also have this one right here. All of them are looking kind of realistic, except this one looks kind of from the video game. And all these three look really realistic. Now here in the below, we have this prompt, which was used. So just only this and then we have also the magic prompt which was used for this images here as well now resolution is one by one and the rendering is default and that is pretty much it now we can go back let's go to design and let's see a few of the photos from here as well for example we have here trump holding a dog and a cat in his hands and we have here mr trump behind this desk and here we have this prompt which was used for this image and here we have other examples as well all of them i think look great especially this one looks really really cool and here down below we also have this magic prompt and the model and the actual resolution let's go here to the three so here we have some of the 3D renderings, for example, this Nike shoe. Here we have this prompt, which was used as well. And we also have here other images as well, which were generated using the same prompt. Yeah, this is also a really cool image. And down below, we also have this model, which was used. So Ideogram 2.0. And here we also have anime. So anime, basically cartoon images. I think some of them also look very, very cool. For example, this one, we have this the main character holding on this machine or game machine. And uh, yeah, I think it also looks quite good. Here we have other examples as well. Maybe it could be a bit more sharp, but nonetheless, it's still an AI generated image. Now let's go back here and let's create our own image as well. So here, once you click on this input field, you will see see many of the options. You guys can clear the text. Here you have the auto, general, realistic, design, 3D or anime style. I will just go with the auto and here you can also enable magic prompt. Now what magic prompt does, it enhances your initial prompt to improve image variety and richness. It can also translate to English. So if you have, for example, Spanish words here, you guys can also just put the Spanish words here and this will translate it for you. Now here I will leave it on. I will go with the aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So some of them are actually locked. So you will have to have premium account or diagram to be able to actually 
use some of the aspect ratios here we have visibility now with the private you will have to upgrade to more premium account nonetheless and then you guys can also see here the model now for the model you have 2.0 1.0 or 0.2 i think 2.0 is the best one and here we have also color palette so color palette choose your preferred image colors colors listed first will have more influence so currently it's set to auto but you guys can put whatever you like i'll go for example with this fresh color palette and let's go click this option here as well and here are pretty much locked options so you aren't able to actually generate those images where with a free account you will have to have paid account so yeah you won't be actually able to change rendering seed number and negative prompt but i don't think that this will impact the actual generated image that much so right now i'll just type in a simple prompt let's type in a man in the sports car driving really fast on the highway so something like that and i'll also add he is a approaching the ramp to jump so this is pretty much my prompt and right now let's see what will magic prompt actually do here i'll leave it enabled and all the settings are actually dialed in and uh, let's click on generate and let's see what will happen here down below you will also see how many of the credits this will use in this case two credits and with a free account you have 10 credits to use so here i'll click on generate and let's see what will happen here on the right you will see that you have the timer and if you don't want it you guys can just upgrade to more premium version of ideogram so i think it's the right thing to do to actually wait for it to finish and you guys can already see that we have this our generated image i think it looks quite natural as well for example this one right here really looks kind of natural we also have all the fingers which are in the right position maybe this mirror on the right side of the car is sticking up in unnatural way so maybe this could be fixed in the next upcoming release however the major indicator that this image was actually generated with ai is this car which is actually facing in this direction so maybe this car is actually driving on the wrong way and this car is going in the right way but hey this is ai generated image we don't know and this is basically the prompt now what i will do i'll just copy this same prompt i'll copy this magic prompt actually and i'll copy it to another also great AI image generator model which is leonardo.ai now the next thing which i'm going to do i'm going to go to leonardo.ai and let's compare those images generated from ideogram to the ones generated with leonardo.ai now what's on this page i'll go here to image creation and leonardo.ai is of course also free ai generative model to use however you only get about 150 fast tokens now if you want to upgrade to more premium model i highly suggest to you guys that you use the link the first link in the video description below and upgrade to one of more premium models that way you also get to support the channel by the way and this support is highly appreciated so yeah let's go back here i'll go to image creation and i'll just copy this magic prompt which was actually generated with the ideogram and i'm going to go here to latest model of leonardo.ai which is phoenix now for the prompt and hands i will leave it to off and preset style i'll leave it dynamic so here we will also see simple for images generated with leonardo.ai contrast will be high and the preset style will be dynamic so this is pretty much it what i'm going to do and click i'm going to click generate button and let's see what will happen with the images generated with leonardo.ai and now i think it's the right thing to do to comment down below in the video description below which images will be better from leonardo.ai or from ideogram so let me know in the comment section before this is actually finished so here we can take a look now this image for example this one right here looks kind of meh it looks too cartoonish in my opinion and if we go here to microsoft edge we have this all this realistic effect on this car we have here the road which is actually moving we have this moving blur behind the car or around the car and the overall car and the person look very very realistic but here maybe this image is very realistic maybe this one isn't as realistic because we can see that here is actually the car or the steering wheel and no one is actually driving we have the passenger here but here is 
no other person to drive this car. Now here on the this one, this is totally flawed. Here we have this head of the guy which is driving this Lamborghini is actually popping out from the windshield. So this is incorrect as well as this one right here. This one isn't also correct one. So yeah, only great image is this one, but this one still has this car driving in the wrong direction. So however, we can also go here to right now to the Firefox and let's see Leonardo.ai. Now this person also still isn't as realistic as those on Ideogram and the car also isn't as realistic. It's looks too cartoonish in my opinion. Now let's go to the second image, maybe this one right here. This one looks okay as well, but uh, as I said before, for the other images from Leonardo.ai, these are also too cartoonish in my opinion. Now we also have this one. So this model has also the same, uh, the same problem, which has the ideogram. So the guy is the guy's hat is actually poking out from the actual windshield of the car. So yeah, this could be improved in the next upcoming release. This image also looks kind of cartoonish in my opinion. So I think that overall the image from Ideogram looks better compared to Leonardo.ai. So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you all around in the next video.